And Friday night scuffle has now received nationwide attention. The video shows Mettler surrounded by no on eight prop no on prop eight demonstrators shouting expletives at him. Then Mettler can be seen throwing a punch and kicking Betowitz. However, Mettler says he was attacked first and believes the video has been altered. ABC 23 Southwest reporter Aaron Briscoe has more on this heated debate. This is video shot by demonstrators showing current high school trustee and Yes on 8 supporter Ken Mettler kick and punch a No on 8 demonstrator during a rally Friday night. Today, Mettler is saying the video, which is now circulating nationally, may be altered. Looking at the video, I'm just a lay person, but I have other people have looked at it and I've read their comments who are uh, experts in uh, videography. They think that it has been altered before it was even given out to the media, that there seems to be a second or two that is deleted or missing because people's positions change very rapidly. ABC 23 was given the video about an hour and a half after the incident. We were unable to reach the person who shot the video to respond to Mettler's accusations. It happened very quickly. I, I saw a punch coming at me. Uh, they were screaming that they were going to do physical harm to me. And I went, moved backwards, and then I did um, defend myself in a measured fashion uh, and just so I could exit the area. Now Mettler says he regrets the incident and hopes both sides on the issue learn from it. I am a, uh, a big believer in ideas and a, a good debate about issues and supporting democracy. Uh, and I would assure you that if someone came over to the yes on Prop 8 side to retrieve some of their materials, they would hopefully be treated with courtesy and be assisted in retrieving their materials. Now, as ABC 23's Aaron Briscoe reporting, Mettler says since Friday's scuffle, he has received several phone calls from people who say they have also been assaulted by no on 8 demonstrators. New information tonight about a fight at a Proposition 8 rally on Friday involving Kern High School District Trustee Ken Mettler. Now a witness has come forward claiming Mettler was provoked. 17's Tim Callahan has been following this story and joins us live tonight from Southwest Bakersfield with the latest. Tim? Well, the man who witnessed that crash said no on Prop 8 protesters had been provoking the yes on Prop 8 uh, demonstrators across the street all night. The next moment was caught on tape. Now, the video clearly shows Kern High School trustee Ken Mettler being attacked by one of those protesters. Now, he was trying to grab some yes on Prop 8 signs that he said had been defaced. But when he tried to grab the signs, he was confronted by a number of protesters. Now, Mettler says the protester in black took a swing at him. That's when he punched back. Now, Mettler is defending himself, but so are other protesters. I was physically assaulted by an opponent to traditional marriage. And unfortunately, I did have to defend myself. I just noticed that some of the yes for Prop 8 signs were up in the grass area there, and I went to pick those up. When I did pick some of them up, I realized they had been defaced and uh, vandalized. I did see the gentleman try to attack Mr. Mettler. Now, Mr. Mettler did defend himself. Yes, he did raise his foot, just try to help push the guy back from a little bit. And uh, these people have been known to try to, try to provocate incidents. Mars and others said it was this protester who started the fight. Now, police were eventually called, but no one was arrested. Others who saw the fight say no on Prop 8 supporters instigated the situation. Meantime, I had a chance to speak with an official from the district attorney's office who says they haven't seen this case on their desk as of yet, but they could see it if, file, if charges are filed. But meantime, both sides have agreed they don't want to file charges, but police continue their investigation. We're live tonight in Southwest Bakersfield. Tim Callahan, 17 News. All right, Tim, now we want to know what you think about the way this incident was handled. Let's check in with 17's Tammy Melchuk now for tonight's interactive question. Tammy? Well, Jim, as the election draws near, the debate over Prop 8, as we've seen, gets more intense. Over the past few weeks, there have been complaints about people on both sides of the issue getting out of line. But was that the case here? Tonight, we're asking, do you think Ken Mettler acted appropriately? Give us a call at 283-1800, category 1000, press 1 for yes. Two for no. You can also vote on our website. And we'd like to know why you voted the way you did. By You can leave a voicemail at Category 1017 or send an email to poll at KGET.com. I'll read some of your emails and play back some of your calls at the bottom of the hour when I update the numbers. Robin? Do you think Ken Mettler acted appropriately? Here's how close to 500 of you are voting so far tonight, and it is evenly split. 50% saying he did act appropriately, and 50% saying he didn't. Take a listen now to some voicemails. I think that uh, 
the elected board member acted inappropriately. Uh, certainly, I would have expected more leadership. I voted yes. He has the right to defend himself, especially in a, a crowd of people. I feel that Ken Mettler's behavior was inappropriate as he is a leader and a representative in our community and had no business entering over to the opponent's area and retrieving any signage. Yeah, I think he acted appropriately. I think uh, everybody has a uh, right to uh, for freedom of speech and I think everybody has a right to defend themselves also. And take a look at a couple of emails tonight. Christopher Garcia writes in. He acted completely inappropriately. He says it's sad that he chose to react in such a manner considering his position. I, along with other parents and community members, would appreciate an apology. Aileen Miller writes in. The limited video aired by KGET does not show the entire incident. Yes, we see Mr. Mettler kicking towards someone and throwing a punch, all having to look through other bystanders. We don't get to see what happened before that, nor can we even see the other party. There's still time for you to call in tonight, 283-1800, Category 1000. Press a 1 if you think Ken Mettler acted appropriately at Friday night's rallies. And 2, if not, we'll have another update coming up tonight on 17 News at 6 o'clock. Tonight we have been asking, do you think Ken Mettler acted appropriately? With more than 750 of you voting so far tonight, 53% of you say yes, he did act appropriately, while 47% of you say he did not. Here are now the final results from tonight's 17 feedback concerning a fight Friday night at a Proposition 8 rally. Earlier tonight we asked, do you think Ken Mettler acted appropriately? With close to 1,200 of you voting tonight, 46% of you say yes, he did act appropriately, while 54% of you say he did not. Thank you for voting in tonight's feedback poll.